I don't have a very good education. I, I left home early when I was um, 17 or 18. I, I decided to uh, head out west and I worked in various logging jobs in the B west coast of BC and after about three years of doing that I realized really quick that I didn't want to work that hard for the rest of my life because I saw men that were like 35 to 45 pretty well burned out. So I applied to Fanshawe College from BC and I got accepted. I went from being almost the worst student to I think one of the best students in the three years that I was at Fanshawe and I fell in love with the process the moment I saw the magic of a print emerging from the developer. Darkroom printing makes my heart race. Everything about it. It's about putting down an image on a piece of paper or on an object that is, I find just thrilling. From what we have researched, the pigments we are using are extremely permanent and the palladium is once a, a noble metal which is very permanent as well so we we feel that there's a, a very long life expectancy with these prints that we're making they, they're not like beautiful inkjet prints they don't have the same realism as an inkjet print but they have their own palette of color that I think is really beautiful and it does take you back to an era when when prints were actually made by hand. I chose to work with Bob primarily because he's one of the best and probably now is the best or at least the last remaining standing. Um, so yeah it was really important for me to have someone who was dedicated to the highest quality of printmaking. For every one printmaker there's 10,000 photographers. We are working with light, we are working with chemistry, we are working with um, somebody's vision. When it appears it, it's kind of cool to see. Everything that we're doing now can be done in a home darkroom and, and all the equipment that we're using is viable for a young artist to go and say hey I can start a career.